Hey, peeps! Guess what today is? Wacky Wednesday. And you know what we do on Wacky Wednesdays? We throw as much of everything in the video as we can possibly throw in there. So we're all over the place, but you know, that's my life. So we are gonna show you updates of the closet, updates on the runway. Uh, Lord, what else did we do? Like. The, the, There's just so much, I the, can't. The, the runway is just hysterical though, because we actually got wetsuits for the guys. And uh, it, it's, I, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna tell you, I'll just let you watch it. <laughs> Cause it's funny. I uh, hope you enjoyed today's video. Uh, it's, it's action packed. It's full of everything going on around here. It's down to the wire. We're getting crazy. And I forgot to turn in the logos today to the step and repeat guy. So we'll have to get that uh, done. We better get that done first thing in the morning. Uh, put that on the list. So anyways, guys, let's get on with the video. No. Where are we? Oh, it's Where is Okay. Can so make sure the bottom of the pants go that direction. That. Okay. Perfect. Okay. That way everything will hang. So pretty. Mm -hmm. Do I look like shit? <laughs> Do you really want me to answer? Uh huh? No, you look beautiful. Yes. Don't be a yes man. So, anyways, haven't had time to get even cleaned up today. Have not even had time. We are deep in the thralls of trying to get these closets done. So, we are now changing out all of Lamar's hangers to the gold also. So you can kind of see Shorts are already done. So we thought at first we were gonna leave everything on these rubberized hangers. But once I came in here and looked, I said, no, doesn't look right. So I said, who needs cleaned up? Because guess what? Tonight I have to get cleaned up to go be on Fox 26 News. So my makeup needs to be fresh for that. So I'm like, I might as well get my work in right now with my face and my hair looking like crap so that I can get ready here in a little bit to look good for camera. So we're about sick of these hangers, aren't we? <laughs> I think the last little bit of hangers that we have left to do in my closet is the evening gowns. And I think my closet's done. Yeah. Just mm -hmm. all we have left is evening gowns. So, um, so yeah. The other day we kind of gave you a little uh, tour of Lamar's closet, if you want to call it that. <laughs> I bet Lamar hasn't worn some of these for 20 years. What do you want to bet? I'll bet you. And I know for a fact that he hasn't worn some of these clothes for over three years because he hasn't had a reason to since all these surgeries. But I, I bet some of these pants, some of these outfits, I, I bet haven't been worn for 20 years. Some of these pants I've never seen before other than switching out hands. Oh, 
that things start to float. I think they're having a little <laughs> It's good to have fun though. They enjoy it. See, somebody needs to get on the ladder and lift that thing up. Oh. Here goes Mauricio. No, 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 <laughs> hey, Edson's still the only one that has not gone zip lining. Edson, you gonna go zip lining? Get you some Modelo. <laughs> no. That's just your hand, though. <laughs> Uh -oh. Mom, get on there and grab the other end. It might look easier on the outside than maybe it is on the inside. <laughs> I think Diego needs to come on this side. Mercy will stay on that side and they grab each corner. Would you like to get in the pool, mother? <laughs> Don't make me. <laughs> I'll show you how it's done. Oh my goodness. No, pero
And guess who arrived today? Yes, the perfect light. So we've got Santa's little helpers all over our property today. Oh my God. So we got people putting lights on the house. They are doing lights on the house. So that's what these guys are doing. We've already got lights being laid out around the driveway. You can see them laying out all the lights around the driveways. These guys are specifically doing the house. We've got guys over yonder. They're going to be wrapping all of the palm trees. So all the trunks on all the palm trees are gonna get done. That's what that gentleman over there is doing. He's wrapping palm trees. Then you've got all these guys down here putting lights in all of the holly trees. So all of these holly trees that line my driveway are getting lights put in them right now. So you can see, if I come close to the holly, you can see we already have lights strung in the holly trees. See the green cords? Mm-hmm. So we've got lights being laid out for the driveways. We've got lights going in the hollies. They're gonna be putting lights up on the walls. Santa's little helpers are here. So see they have little packets of red lights. The lights on the driveway are white. The lights that go in all the holly trees are red. The lights that go on the wall are white. The lights that go on the palm trees are red. And the lights that go up on the house are white. So, yes. Busy, busy, busy. These guys do my property every year, every house I've ever lived in. For the last 15 to 20 years, they have done, always, always done all of my Christmas lighting. So, I know you're all going, oh, it's not even Halloween yet. Well, remember, we have Fashion Woodlands coming. And all of this property has to be completely decorated and beautiful by next weekend. So, they had to put me first on the list so that they could knock me out and get mine done. So, I'm first on the list. But we're not going to turn them on until Halloween's over with. So... Hey, you guys. See, he's up on the wall. He's already starting to lay out the lights up on the wall. Wow. These guys definitely know what they're doing. That's why they charge the big bucks. Mm -hmm. They'll have it all done by today. So you can clearly see how they wrap the trunks of the palm trees. So... Those palm trees out there have the tr trunks all wrapped. Up here next to the house, all the trees are wrapped. So all the palm trees up, oh wow, you can see the red lights. I don't know if you can see the red lights, but the red lights are on. I don't think you can see them, but they've got them turned on just to see if they work. So those work. So anyways, those three, and then there's one, two, three up on this side of the house. And then there's one, two, three up here. He, they're hanging red lights right there. You can kind of see the red lights. I don't know if you can kind of see. See the red lights? Yeah. So anyways, there's one, two, three here. There's two more down there. And then of course, there's three over yonder. So all of those will be wrapped with red. So that's three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. 14? Three, four, five, six, seven, 
8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Yeah, so 14 palm trees, all wrapped with red. And then down here on the driveway, they're putting all the lights on. Up on the house, all the lights are on. They're actually on, you just can't see because it's daytime. But then they're doing the driveway. All of this is getting set up. You can see they're doing the driveway all the way down, both sides of the driveway. The holly trees have all been done. Boom, 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 boom. And then if you look really close, you can see that the lights on the walls have already been put on also. So let me stand still. So right down there, you can see that the walls already have their lights on also. So basically, they are almost done. They're finishing up the driveway lights. These guys are finishing up the palm trees and they have knocked out my property. They are done. And the hollies all have lights in them. You can see the Christmas tree wires. Yeah, so they're all decorated in red. So, yay, good job guys, good job. And what beautiful weather to get it done in. You guys are in the Houston area and you guys need Christmas lights hung. These guys are the best, I'm just telling you. They take good care of me. So now they're adding on to that one. They added this section this morning. Yeah, we're getting somewhere. Okay, now we're bringing the addition of the runway from over by the pickleball court to hooking it up to this runway. Okay. Got one guy in the pool again today. Okay. See. What? Why is he quiet? What? <laughs> so lost without his sister. It's getting close to be done. Oh my goodness! There's a baby girl. There's a baby girl. So pretty. We're so pretty. Oh, I know. <laughs> Wicky woo. Mickey nee nee. Tell her. Say, I'm glad you're here. I'm glad you're here. I'm Separation you're here. issues. <laughs>
Oh, you got the boots on. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Remember I showed these uh, a week or so ago? Where I was showing these jackets and I said that I would pair these boots with this jacket dress because of the green. Mm -hmm. Put the little Fendi hose with it. So cute, so cute. And I'm gonna carry a black purse tonight. So tonight we're doing a Fox 26 News interview on Fashion Woodlands. Uh, so it's the Isaiah character. Good friend of mine, I've done so many events with Isaiah. So many events with Isaiah. So he's doing an interview. Uh, we've been doing interviews all along. I know I have another one next Monday with KRPC Channel 2. And I think we also have one with Houston Live. So we're making our rounds. But anyways, this is a late night interview. <laughs> Usually uh, by 10 o'clock, I'm just like sitting in a chair working at the computer, or I'm at least just sitting in a chair getting ready to have a cocktail. So, yeah, this is a late night. So, just got done with hair and makeup, got done with picking up the outfit. I think this is perfect, a little edgy for the fashion show segment. So, anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. You know, Wacky Wednesday is always full of just everything. Um, but it was funny when we were in the closet today, we showed Sergio <laughs> yeah. a portion of the closet that... And I've never noticed it. I mean, I haven't either. And I'm in this closet every day. But God forbid if somebody else that's been in this closet ever noticed it. Good God, I'll just die. So. They forgot to paint. <laughs> they must have scratched the ceiling when they were putting this mirror in. So they removed those white pieces and put it back up and then forgot to totally paint. So, and we have no idea how long it's been there or how many people have actually seen it and just have never said anything. So, huh, crazy. <laughs> hey, it's gonna get fixed. Anyways, or paint on whatever you call it. But anyways, um, guys, so um, just to let you know, Tashina and I spent yesterday adding more seats because we had sold out of general admission and we were very close to selling out of VIP. So we did some rearranging, added some more rows because of an angle, because of the two tents meeting, blah, blah, blah. We came up with some more tickets um, because we were getting asked all the time, hey, I went to buy my general admission tickets and there were none left. Can you get me a ticket somehow? How many more general seats did we add? I'm trying to remember. 12, 10, 8, 12, 10, 8, 12, 10, 8. 12, it was almost like 30, wasn't I it? I think like 30 more seats. 30 I think, more we, I think we added 30 more seats uh, in general admission. But anyways, it's a lot easier to redesign and come up with another section than it is to magically pull some seats out of your butt. <laughs> so anyways, guys, there are still now some tickets available because we have opened up more tickets because we did a different seating arrangement. Instead of sticking to the normal street lines when it comes to fashion shows, we did some angles, made it quite different. Um, so we, we created another zone, another area, so yay. You guys, it's never easy. Like you just think, oh, just no. Like we work on this seating chart till we're blue in the face. Pretty much. Because we have to make sure everyone is happy. Everyone. So if you have not bought your tickets yet, you need to run over there to TeresaRomer.com. Click on events, click on Fashion Woodlands, buy your tickets. We, we made some available for you guys. So, and for those of you that haven't bought the tickets and don't want to come, you're going to miss out. It's going to be a ton of fun. And uh, just found out who my little Make-A-Wish girl is going to be this year. Um, so she's going to be here. I think I'm going to dress her. 
So I'm so excited. She's 12 years old. So it's going to be another tearjerker. So anyways, with that said, guys, thank you for watching. And get ready for Fashion Friday because i got to show, show you some new stuff. Yeah. Until next time, bye-bye. OMG. I know it's before Halloween, but they were here decorating my property today for the Fashion Woodlands Fashion Show. And it is turning out so incredibly pretty. So we've got lights on all the holly trees. We've got lights up there on the palm trees that are up close to the house. Oh my gosh. So we've got lights everywhere. So we've got lights on the house. We've got lights on the driveway. We've got lights on the holly trees, the palm trees. And of course, we have lights out on the walls. So the walls are lit up too, of course. Yay, oh my God. Now I've got to put my Halloween guys back up now that my rye grass is growing so that I've got my, so even the walls lit up. I know, I think I need to put some lights up in the trees. Yeah. Anyways, even the walls lit up. So outside the wall is lit up and everything inside is all lit up. So I've got to put my Halloween thing, my big key cap back right there. And then of course over here, we're going to put the big pumpkin. But I've got to get those put up before Saturday night because we've got the sleigh ride coming Saturday night for candy. Getting in the season spirit early. Gotta get ready for Fashion Woodlands fashion event. Have you got your tickets yet? Heading out the door, heading into Houston. I'm going to be on the Isaiah Carey show from 10 to 11 at Fox 26. So if you happen to be around a TV, tune in.